Hey Virgos, I'm back guys, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back again with another video for y'all. So this video is going to be a um, general reading for the month of September. Alright, so it's no way possible that this, vi that this video can be for every single Virgo. It's going to be for those who need it. Alright, so if this message resonates with you, that's going to be great. Go ahead and hit that like button and show some love, all right? So, let's see what's coming towards my Virgos for the month of September, all right? Keep in mind, guys, that everything that you need um, is going to be in the description box below. If you want to order the Money Magnet Oil by the Empress, the link to the website is going to be there. I'm in the description box. If you want to book your own personal reading, that information is in the description box. If you need a pendulum read, that information is in the description box. If you would like to purchase some merch, that information as well is in the description box below, okay? Um, and for my newcomers, welcome, guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We would love to have you here. Don't forget to click the bell to subscribe, okay? So let's talk. I did see the three of wands that wanted to reveal itself. So some of you guys are waiting for your ships to come in. So let's see what we got, y'all. I was going to pull from the Kipper deck first, but I'm going to pull that after I do the tarot. So let's see what we get for the month of September. This is going to be for my Virgos. What messages are there for um, Virgo September? What does Virgo need to know? For the month of September was coming towards my Virgos. Virgo. Oh, y'all, y'all are real tight. Okay, we got the star card. Okay, here we go. We got the star card, which is Aquarius is energy, but this is having hope and faith. Okay. Six of Swords is moving on or move or leaving or traveling the page of cups the moon card cancer pisces is energy but i'm getting the moon and the stars Ooh. okay eight of wands lots of communication and it looks like something uh possibly like some traveling as well okay yeah lots of communication this is a chatty month for you guys it looks like there's a lot to be said um let's see what we got here this looks like a conversation okay so yeah all right so we have the fool okay so, looks like you're starting something. You're beginning something. Like, you're taking a risk. You're taking some type of risk. But how others view you is the Nine of Pentacles. So, others view you as being successful. And you're very independent. You're doing well. Okay? What's in the hopes and fears? Okay? The judgment card. The judgment card. It's the final decision or being feeling judged. Okay, I'm getting, like, this showed up, revealed itself to the King of Swords and the Emperor, which is uh, Aries Energy and the King of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And the outcome is the Nine of Wands, okay? So, you're very guardy, okay? But I'm getting, like, lots of communication is coming in, or you're hoping that someone you someone reaches out to you. Um, uh, but I'm getting, like, there's some type of movement as well. There's a journey. There's a new journey here. Um, and you're very, very cautious on how you're moving. Okay, so I do want to see. Let's let's start. I want to see why the star card is here. Okay, so you're hoping. You have hope. Um, there's a lot of different cups here. Okay, there's a lot of different avenues that you can move around. A lot of different avenues with the seven of cups okay so you're hoping that someone makes their mind up um when they reach back out to you or communicate with you but i am getting that you're waiting to see if somebody's going to change their mind five of pentacles You feel like 
always somebody's gonna change their mind and it's gonna make you mad okay because i got the magician and the five of wands and the empress here you're waiting to see if somebody's going to change their mind okay so you're hoping that this person makes a decision or you make up you make up your mind on how you're going to move with the six of swords here why is the six of swords here six of swords is moving on from something okay yeah like the eight of pentacles and the lovers here at the bottom of the deck the temperance card could be dealing with the gemini or sagittarius but this is also a decision okay if somebody needs to make the right decision you're hoping that somebody makes the right decision when they make this move okay you've been in communication with this person with the page of cups yeah and the ace of pentacles so there's talks about money there's talks about an opportunity so you got the opportunity to talk to somebody and you're hoping that they're going to make the right decision okay because i feel like there's something here um Something happened out of the blue. Something like out of the blue happened. A tower and a six of cups. Something like out of the blue happened from the past that got you that has you kind of like on edge, okay? You might feel like friends, you know, three of cups, friends have kind of hurt you or stabbed you in the back, okay? But your intuition was telling you, telling you this was gonna happen. Why is the eight of pentacles here? The world, yeah. You're trying to move forward and leave this situation in the past. Whatever this is, see, we got you at the bottom of the deck, okay? And you're trying to be become stable, okay? So it looks like you're trying to close out a chapter here. But you're hoping that somebody makes up their mind or you're trying to make up your mind. But I see that there's talks about money or an opportunity. Yeah, King of Pentacles and an Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so there's talks about money. Okay. There's talks about money. Why is the moon card here? The moon card is Cancer and Pisces is energy. But this is also things that are hidden. Things that is in your subconscious. Things that you haven't, you know let anybody in on yet why is the moon card here the queen of swords libra gemini aquarius three of pentacles and a two of pentacles something about here working together as a group okay so why is the queen of swords here or somebody has two jobs um somebody's at their at this person's house queen of swords oh somebody doesn't want to go to somebody's house whoever this house is that somebody doesn't want to go to they're they're classified as the queen of swords so they could be a libra gemini aquarius but they could be real tough and you know very blunt um and very straight to the point you don't really want to have to go and deal with this person so you're hoping that this person makes the right decision and um you know try to close this chapter out and talk about you know finances and money and things to better themselves because you don't want to deal with somebody here four of cups like this person leave a bad taste in your mouth why is the eight of wands here past energy it looks like yeah two of swords and the eight of wands somebody didn't speak to you this person didn't speak to you or you haven't been in communication with this person but somebody uh was being real spiteful you feel like this person was doing this out of spite with the five of swords for attention okay and you you feel possibly like bad or regretful or this person feels regretful with the hermit and the three of swords but i feel like this person might have didn't speak to you or you haven't talked to this person this person had you feeling kind of kind of like alone or you know kind of like out of pocket um that's what i'm seeing here but there's communication coming in with the knight of cups that's offers why is the knight of cups here Okay, Five of Pentacles and the King of Swords. But what they got to offer ain't much. Is somebody giving you this offer? Is this King of Swords giving you this offer? They're not offering you much with the Five of Pentacles and the King of Swords. Page of Cups and the Three of Cups. Like, it looks like there's, you know, talks amongst a group of people. But some, it's not much being put on the table. It's not. Why is the Fool card here? Yeah, you feel like you got to start over. And this is kind of frustrating you. 
because with the full card and the six of cups, it's saying, you know, I want to take this risk, but, you know, I need a new start. But I'm going to have to start over, six of cups. And it's stressful. Nine of swords. It's stressing me out. Queen of cups and the four of swords. Okay? You might be tired. Okay? You might be, you know, feel like you need a break. Or you just been sitting back thinking about this. Okay? But others view you. We got the nine of pentacles here. Three of swords. Three of swords. Something here about want to split the money. I'm seeing that as well. Like somebody wants to split. Um, want somebody to split something here. Three of swords is multiple people. Possibly three people. But somebody here could be saying that they're single and there could have possibly been like a third person that's involved. Why is the nine of cups here? Yeah, want somebody wants something new, want to see something new. Ace of Wands. Ace of Wands and the Lovers. Okay. So somebody wants to start off fresh or somebody wants a new relationship. So this nine of pentacles could be here because they, they view you as being single and independent, doing things on your own. You might be feeling independent or, you know, they view you as that because somebody could have possibly involved you in a third party situation. So somebody wants to start fresh. They might feel like you want a new start or you want to start over in love and you want them to choose. They feel like you want them to choose you. Okay, so why is the judgment card here? I'm getting mother and father. So for some of you, this could be a mother-father situation. I got the empress here and the emperor here. So this could be someone's mother, father, or your baby mother or baby father, something like that. But um, why is the judgment card here? I'm getting queen of pentacles. Stuck. Or somebody's afraid of change here, too. Why the queen of, queen of Pentacles here? Okay. Somebody's waiting for somebody to make a final decision. This could be like a judge or somebody that's in a higher, in a higher power uh, to make some type of decision. So somebody's waiting for somebody else to make a decision before they can make any type of move is what it, it looks like here. Okay. And then we got the Nine of Wands as the outcome. The Ace of Cups. Okay, somebody's guarding. You guys are guarding your emotions and your feelings from this person because you're just not sure. Like you hoping that this person makes the right decision, but you're still not sure, and you're not really wanting to make. Yeah, see the hierophant. You're you're guarding your heart because you feel like that's the best thing for you to do. You're trying to you're trying to set boundaries. Feel like you are setting boundaries because you're not trying to get your heart played with, or you're not trying to you know just get put in a messed up situation you're trying to do things the right way and you're setting boundaries you're setting boundaries here yeah and you're keeping an eye on this person or this person is watching you but i'm getting like somebody is um we got the devil and the ten of pentacles and the sun card it could be dealing with the leo or capricorn um but i'm seeing like um I'm getting like all of a sudden, all of a sudden, something happened all of a sudden. A tower and a knight of swords. And it was something that could have possibly been like turned out kind of not in your favor or negative. You view it as negative. Um, but with the ten of pentacles and the sun here, it looks like it's going to be like a blessing in disguise is what I'm seeing. And I feel like um, you're doing the right thing by keeping your guard up against this person because you're just not sure of their intentions, their true intentions. You're keeping your guard up. And I I, I can, you know, I, it looks like this person was giving you uncertainty with that two of swords energy, two of pentacles energy. So you got all right to keep your guard up. Now, cards want to fly out everywhere. Okay. What else does Virgo need to know? What else does Virgo need to know for the month of September? Mature man and a false person. So somebody's pretending that they're mature. I'm getting that as, that as well, too. Um, somebody's giving out false hope, okay? Because we got 
thoughts and courtship. Like somebody's thinking that they're going to that there's going to be some type of courtship, but be careful because I got a false person. This person possibly does this all the time, and this is possibly why you're on the edge, on the fence about it because you know you may know that this is a person's pattern. Okay. This is a lot of messages. Yeah, I got imprisonment. Okay, so somebody could be in jail or prison or somebody is, you know, um, and then and then main female came out. So you're possibly like their main female or main male um, while somebody is doing some time on a bed or doing something that, you know, they're actually could actually be in prison or in jail or just, you know, are, are in a prison in their thoughts. Okay, but this is a courtship. Okay, there's this bond that you two have, and they think that it's going to work. I see that children could be involved. We got thoughts, toil, and labor. They feel like you'll put in the work. You you may have, like I said, this may be like a baby mom, baby dad thing, or a mom and dad thing. But there's children involved. Okay, um, I'm seeing that as well. Give me one more message. What does Virgo need to know? Yeah, see, we got a message. See, this, somebody's going to be messaging about money, okay? And there's a journey involved, so there may be a trip involved, like bringing money or getting uh, money to them, okay? Because this person could be at a distance from you because we got journey and great fortune. And this is the message that they're going to be bringing towards you. So they could be reaching out to you and asking you to send money because I got journey and great fortune. Give me, give me another card. For Virgo. Okay, yeah, see, we got marriage. So this person may be telling you that they want to marry you, okay? They may be talking marriage. But see, false person came out again. You got to be careful because false, this person, this person intentions might be might not be in the right place and like i said children may be involved we got house here and a family room so this is something about like i'm getting like children are involved in this situation um and this is about being a family like this person may tell you that they want to be a family and they want to get married but just be careful with this person because that i'm getting jail talk I'm getting jail talk and privileged lady. Okay, so there's a trip because I got a journey here and coughing. Oh, because somebody is not, didn't come. So what's going to possibly end up happening is the trip coming towards them is probably going to get canceled. Okay, and privileged lady. Who is privileged? Why is privileged lady here? Some other woman could possibly... If this is a, a situation where uh, someone is in jail or prison, they'll possibly have somebody else coming up to see them and coming to visit them. And um, she's very privileged. Poverty. Okay, so somebody is, is, there's a privileged lady here and then somebody who, who isn't as privileged. Okay, and somebody's looking at this person as their main male. And this person could possibly, yeah, see, somebody's hitting somebody up for money. Okay, because I got great fortune here in the community. Okay, so this person has a group. Okay, judification. Okay, so this is going in front of the judge. Okay, official person. Yeah, okay. So what it looks like to me, this, this story to me kind of sounds like someone is uh, possibly like either locked up or this person is at a distance from you. Okay, and it looks like this person could be dealing with the court system with official person and judification this is definitely like court okay and getting ready to go in front of a judge or getting ready to um get be judged okay so this person is trying to get their community together this person is trying to get their uh resources together okay because they're not sure um how much is going to cost what is because they're looking for money great wealth message of concern you know they're looking at the situation with concern and it's about sudden wealth so it's definitely tied to money okay so watch out for this person because this person could be after you know you know your money
because of what they have going on. So let's see what the angels have to say. Give me a message for Virgos, please. Ooh, okay. We got within the next few months. And then we got reconsider at the bottom of the deck. So there may be something that you may want to reconsider or you're going to reconsider something within the next few months. Okay, so we got uh, remain positive. Remain positive, and we got listen to your intuition. So you're definitely going to, uh, yeah, your intuition telling you not to worry, and you definitely should listen to that. But let's get a few clarifiers on, well, gosh, the Queen of Swords, that is wanting to pop out. Somebody could be dealing with the Libra Gemini Aquarius. But within the next few weeks, why is that here? Why is within the next few weeks? Five of Wands, there may be some type of trouble or conflict, or this person is coming to you and telling you that telling you what they you know that there's some conflict okay i'm getting jealous friends i see that as well like people competing against each other yeah it's two of pentacles and a seven of swords there's like lies going on or people being sneaky um somebody here can't make up their mind as well if they're going to go somewhere or leave um somebody's vibe is off why is the three of cups here yeah, page of swords, okay? So there's gossiping. Page of swords and the three of cups is somebody gossiping, people slandering people's name and being childish, okay? So somebody is asking for something and somebody's saying that they don't got it. Knight of cups and a five of pentacles. So they're saying that, you know, I don't have much to give you. Or I don't have much to offer you. Um, and there's some gossiping going on and some, you know, some pettiness going on. Okay, so remain positive. Yeah, the devil and the sun card. Now, the devil is known for negative energy, but with that sun card here, this is sexual energy as well. But with the devil and the sun here, I'm kind of looking at it as there's a negative and positive to this situation that you have to look at. Because you, I feel like you can make this situation work out for you with the six of wands, okay? I feel like you can make the situation work out for you. Um, but you have to look at it in a more positive light. Okay, so listen to your intuition. Your intuition is going to be telling you something. You're just going to have to pay attention to what's, what's the, yeah, see, the four of cups. You're going to be disappointed if you don't listen to your intuition. Okay, you're going to be disappointed. Your intuition might have told you to wait and be patient, wait to say something, wait to take action. And some of y'all are going to be moving so fast that you're going to end up being disappointed, okay? This person could stab you in your back with a ten of swords, and you might be regretting, sitting back regretting this later. With the hermit card, okay? The knight of wands, the justice card. Somebody, somebody could definitely be dealing with the court system with the justice card, okay? But your intuition is telling you to wait. Some of y'all going to be disappointed if you don't listen to your intuition. Something here is saying be patient. Why is the seven of pentacles here? Seven of Wands. Somebody's trying to force something here. But the Spirit is telling you to wait. Okay, wait for your ships to come in. Um, because it looks like something is forced here. Yeah, something about leaving. Wait till someone leaves or wait. Or forcing somebody to leave. Um, why is the Eight of Cups here? King of Swords, yeah, cutting somebody off. Queen of Pentacles, somebody's forcing somebody to cut somebody off. Queen of Pentacles and the Four of Pentacles here. And the Queen of Swords, somebody is like, keep your distance, keep your thoughts to yourself um, until this final decision is made, okay? But somebody is, come, there's some forward movement after this decision. So there's a final decision and then there's some forward movement, okay? And then somebody is happy here with the King of Cups and the Ten of Cups. So I feel like, see, yeah, somebody, yeah, use your intuition, okay? Use your intuition. Because if your intuition is telling you to be patient and wait something out, you need to do that, okay? So I don't know who this message is for. If this message was for you, y'all, I hope this was helpful, okay? I hope and pray this was helpful. All right, so everything that you guys need um, will be in the description box below. And I will chat with y'all on the next go-round, all right? Ciao.